Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are all doing awesome. If this is your first time, then you are most welcome. I hope you subscribe and join the family. And if you're a returning subscriber, then thank you so, so much for stopping by here again today. So in today's video, I'm gonna be collaborating with a new company and they're called Beauty Forever Hair. They're new to me, but they're not new um, on the market because I've been seeing them on YouTube and Instagram and all of that. So I'm honestly so excited to be trying out their units because you know I just wanna see how the quality is. Of course, I'm gonna be giving you guys my 100% honest opinion even though this video is sponsored so the video the wig i'm gonna be blah, blah, blah. i'm talking too fast <laughs> the wig i'm gonna be reviewing today is the kinky curly v pot wig um and i got this in 18 inches however on the website you can get it um for you can get it from 14 inches to 24 inches so 18 inches which is what i have retails for 165 dollars if i'm not mistaking so i'm just going to head straight into the install because i don't want to waste much of your time so this is how the unit looks the curl pattern it is a kinky curly and to be honest i actually thought it was going to be longer like 18 inches kind of feels a bit short however i'm not complaining because i don't actually have an afro wig that's like uh is it collarbone length or whatever length so I'm really excited because I feel like it's gonna look so natural. I didn't wash this unit. Please wash your units, guys. I was a bit lazy, so yeah. And in terms of construction, it's basically your standard um, V part with construction. It comes with two clips, uh, sorry, four clips at the front, one right here, and I believe a comb or a clip, a comb right here, and then some adjustable straps as well. So yeah, it's basically standard and if you're not familiar with v-part wigs it this is basically what it is it's like a u-part wig but you know you don't need as much leave out as a u-part wig because of how the wefts are sewn if that makes sense so i do have uh, this for my leave out and i'm gonna attempt blending this with my with the wig should i take it out first or wear the wig first let me take it out first So I washed my hair last night. Um, I had braids in for about a month and then I took them out. So yeah, I, I, I made a video showing you guys how to safely take down your braids when you, um, if you have 4 hair and stuff. So I recommend you check that out. I don't know which video is gonna be out first. Probably this one will be out first cause this is, you know, work. But yeah, just please subscribe to the channel, you know. We're growing, I'm starting to vlog more right now, so, yep. Okay, that's my leave out, oops. Funny, you actually don't really need to leave any hair out, like if your braids are pretty thin, then you don't, but I just feel like being extra. So first thing you wanna do, of course, is open up the clips. I typically only open this four, I don't open this one because I don't use it, so yeah, there's no point in that, and then I would just adjust the adjustable strap make sure it's tight and secure i always use the back comb as well to secure it at the back and then i use this comb and then i place it right at the front and close it and i like to go in with the first comb first because that determines the position of the wig and sometimes you don't even need to use a second comb like once you use the first the second just kind of aligns itself if that makes sense I also secure it like so it doesn't feel like it's gonna rip your edges out don't worry and then secure this like so now if you want it to be more natural you can have some leave out right here but you know it ain't that serious ah this looks crazy on me okay we're gonna make it work guys I have faith um, just gonna go ahead and frizz this out you know make it look like real hair it definitely feels soft I don't feel like there's gonna be much shedding to this unit because I've literally been finger combing and you know I haven't received that much shedding just like one or two strands okay now how I'm gonna blend this in I do not know 
because I have 4C hair and if you know anything about 4C hair you know that we don't exactly have the best curl definition and that's okay you know I'm gonna be using the um, style the extreme professional gel just to test it out I don't know which gel is gonna work for me today I have like like four or five gels right here so we're gonna start with this first and add a little bit I'm trying to do like different styles of videos like talking through as opposed to just sitting down and you know doing the video so let me let me know if you guys like this style or you just want me to shut up and just do the wig if you want me to do that trust me I will like no offense because I'm here to serve you so yeah this is not working out and I also have heat damage because you know when I do V part wigs I straighten the front side so let's try this one more time Let me try going in with some mousse. Maybe that would help. Okay, I guess that's kind of working. Kind of. Just going to keep playing with it until I figure it out. But yeah, let me just give you guys a quick little life update. Um... The past like month has been so busy for me like my life has changed drastically you know I'm taking a course um, so like I don't really have time and you know a lot of my friendships have been affected because of that um, I appreciate the ones that understand I'm not shading anybody by the way I just appreciate the ones that you know understand and they reach out to me like yo are you okay you know because sometimes what people don't understand is being an influencer sometimes I don't like to use that word but it is what it is being an influencer means that you have to give your time to a lot of people at the same time and your OG friends don't some of them don't understand that it's not like you're not thinking of them you are but it's just that and again like being an introvert oh this side blended out really well okay then back to my go back to my story being an introvert for me like whenever I give out so much of my energy I need to recharge like I need to just go back so sometimes like you know you're replying a bunch of questions from people like a lot of young girls actually reach out to me to ask for like Christian advice and stuff like that and I'm very fortunate I'm not complaining like I've always said, you know, I, I'm passionate about kingdom work and sometimes I feel like I'm not doing enough. But when I see like these young girls like reaching out to me to ask, oh, what do you think about this? I'm dealing with X, Y, Z. You know, it makes me feel like I'm doing something, you know. So, yeah, like when you're giving out your attention to a lot of people and it's just it's hard to like keep up with your real friends i try my best but sometimes like I, it's just hard like i really want to reach out to them at the same time i want to sleep or i have a video to film and it's just like what do you do you know so yeah I'm, i guess i'm saying this to let you know that if you have an influencer friend please be more understanding because they're going through a lot <laughs> okay so it's coming together nicely I don't really want like a defined look I'm good with like a wet look I should probably have gotten my spray bottle hold on let me go get it real quick okay and I'm gonna spray not too much just you know enough to get it like um juicy my focus okay I hope I don't look crazy with these lashes guys because every time I do lashes especially when I get volume the first couple of days I'm like <laughs> I look so crazy but then when it starts to fall off it looks more natural so if I look crazy just pardon me I'm 
Okay, I'm actually really liking this hair if I'm being honest. Like when I first brought it out of the box, I was like, this is going to be interesting. But now that I'm blending it out and just, you know, styling it, I feel like it has potential. So I'm just taking some gel and just, you know, raking it through some of my individual pieces. And as you can see, it's like somewhat curling up. It's easier to curl because I have like heat damage. So, you know, my curls are like looser in the front. But this extreme gel, man, I've had it for a while, but I've never really used it. I feel like after this, I'm gonna look into doing a wash and go just because I'm trying to test it out and see how it looks <laughs> this is how the front is looking let me go ahead and fix the back because i haven't really done much there so i went ahead to change my outfit because i wasn't really sure of the length and i couldn't really see um the length with the black robe and for my edges i'm just going to add some style factor edge booster gel i believe this is the extra strength one the one for like really thick hair and i'm gonna apply it to my hairline and just use my edge brush to like lift it up like this and then use my um middle finger to hold it just so that it has that like lifted look if that makes sense because my edges are pretty thin, I'm gonna go in with the edge booster as well. Another edge booster, but this is the um, dark brown version, just to add some tint to my edges. I don't know if I like this length. I feel like it's a bit awkward. So I might just go ahead and like chop off these extra straggly pieces. So guys, this is the finished result and she is absolutely stunning. This is giving natural hair vibes. Like literally you can't tell it's not my hair. Like even in person, it looks flawless. So yeah, I know I keep saying this, but this might be one of my staple natural hair wigs. It's very easy. I feel like this is definitely a throw on and go wig. Um, I didn't even need to wash the unit and the curls are absolutely gorgeous. However, please wash your units in case like your scalp is very sensitive and we don't know where they produce these wigs. So yeah, in the, I will definitely wash this wig after um, this video but she feels so good like I'm so glad I got this length because it's definitely a very natural length so yeah guys I hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to like share comment and subscribe and also turn on your bell notification so you get notified each time I post thank you and god bless bye guys Mwah.